Hey guys, what's up? So on this chilly March night, I have decided that my topic for tonight is going to be relationships because me loves that topic a lot. And like a few moments ago, I was sitting down and just like letting my mind just wander. And I thought about a topic and it was what frustrates me in relationships. So I will do my very best to go straight to the point and not ramble so much or like anyways so let's get into it so the first thing that frustrates me about relationships and i don't know if i should attribute this to the fact that i am young or if it's simply a modern day thing but the lack of investment and what makes me say this is that I feel like relationships do not progress because nobody is willing to put in the time and effort that it takes to really make a relationship prosper. It's like people just want for things to work overnight and not really go through the troubles. Um, honestly, I was like that um, when I was a teen. Which, now that I look back at that, it's like, can I even count the folks I dated before I was like 19 years old or 20 years old? Which is when I finally started taking relationships. Like, with the extra level of seriousness. But at the same time, I should say yes, because, I mean, at some point, my feelings were there for those people. But... But like I said, it's just, you need to go through the fighting stages, through the argument stages, through the, all of those stages and build the relationship up and not just having a foot out the door all the time. Because that's honestly what I feel like everybody is like nowadays not everybody but most people it's like oh at the first sign of trouble i'm just going to leave this relationship because you know i'm not going to tolerate bullshit it's fine for you to not tolerate bullshit but at the same time you will always have a disagreement with someone you will always not be a hundred percent compatible it's up to you to talk your way through those challenges and the poor communication is also very frustrating because people just either don't know how to express themselves, they express themselves, but very poorly. And they just, they don't know what they want or they just don't know how to say what they want. And communication has definitely been a challenging aspect in all of my relationships but I want to say that between my last one and my current one that really has determined a lot of things and it really takes a long time to build that up especially if you're dealing with folks who are inexperienced or just not the chatty type from the start and with me as a female I've just noticed that guys just you have to drag stuff out of them. Or maybe it's just the guys who I happen to have fallen for um, lack in that chatty department. And it's not just them talking. It's about them expressing um, what their intentions are, what their goals are. Just being clear about what do you want in a relationship. Do you want the relationship? And just how much progress do you really intend to do into it? When I go into a relationship, I'm thinking, I'm going to make this work. I want for this to work. Unless something major impedes us from being together, I'm going to make it work. Like, I'm about fixing things. I refuse to just, you know, quit at the first sign of trouble. And... Another frustrating thing is when you don't make plans, it's like, what happened to those days when you would just meet up and you would be on time, you would commit to the date or stuff like that, you just don't cancel on someone 
And you would actually look ahead and be like, hey, uh, let's take a couple of days off or uh, let's spend this one weekend together. We don't have to travel. We don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to spend money. Let's just be together and just do things on our own. Let's have a sleepover or whatever it takes. Um, those little things that make the relationship have that romantic spice to it. Um, like for me, I would love a relationship where I get handwritten notes and out of the blue, just be surprised with something that's different. And the way you accomplish that is by getting to know someone. And I feel like nowadays, and this ties back to the communication aspect, we seem to talk and hear to reply, but we aren't really speaking and listening. And there's a difference. When you talk and you're hearing, it's like, You hear the sounds, you're producing the sounds by being the talker, of course. And then by listening, sorry, by hearing, you're just catching the words and you're already programmed to respond to them in a certain way. Is it assertive or is it denial? So we're not really getting to know people in depth and people just don't have imagination anymore because sometimes I ask people some questions about what do you think would happen if this was included in your routine or whatever and they're like I don't know I haven't experienced that can you not try to just imagine something you know like just try to imagine it and yeah just that painful unimaginative moments that we have um additionally something that ties back to the communication aspect is when someone gets very defensive all of my relationships have had this problem i have also identified times when i myself would get defensive like why are you asking me that why do you want to know that or like you know have that evasive attitude and whatnot but it gets really frustrating when Every time you try to go over something vital, the person just thinks that you are going to deprive them of something or they're going to lose their liberty or their sense of having control is going to be lost. If I'm asking something, it's because I need to know so that I can be a better girlfriend in this case. So... It just gets frustrating when you try to communicate something and the person is already like putting their guard up and you're not even attacking them. It's just a question or I'm just trying to find out something about them and who knows, I may surprise you with something cool, but I cannot surprise you with something cool if you don't let me know what I want to know, you know, or... I'm just considerate. I like to know something ahead of time so that I don't accommodate you in any way. And uh, finally, the last thing I thought about was being bad with compliments. Compliments go a long way. And I know that not everybody knows how to handle that or they don't know how to even give one or they're just not used to it. But But something as simple as just noticing that you're putting the effort to look nice and just pointing something out. And if you know that I have a talent, like say I can play the piano or I can sing well. Or if you see that I threw a really nice outfit or whatever, just say something Um Because it really goes a long way if it comes from the person who you are sentimentally attached to or trying to get close to. So I just wish that people nowadays just valued the power of those things that seem so outdated now. I hardly doubt that anybody back in, like from my grandparents' times, I hardly doubt any of them struggled with any of this. 
And it's just scary for me that this has become so common. This has become the norm. And here I am, someone who is still that way. Like, how do you say this? I don't want to say attached to the old ways because I'm definitely a modern person. Like, I don't have a lot of old people skills. You know, like home economics, gosh, I would have done anything for a class like that. But, but I just... The problems I experience today are not problems that I would hear my grandparents express that they experienced during their times. So that says a lot about this. And uh, well, you guys, that is really all that came to mind for now. I am sure that I am going to expand on this topic at some point because I always have something to say about relationships and dating and all that good stuff. So this is just kind of to get me started, get me talking. And some of the stuff I reference in the past in different videos, but I don't even know which one to refer you to. But anyway, you'll stumble upon it. Um, so yeah, you guys, as always, thank you so very much for tuning in. Um, what are some of your frustrations? What do you wish would come back that used to be regularly done in relationships? And I, if I had to point the finger at something, I have to say technology really plays a big part as in, you know, the electronic devices and everything that has built up such a barrier on something as basic as our social skills. And now we're seeing the consequences. So, yeah, you guys, um, if you have any questions for me, something that you're curious about to know my opinion about, ask away and I'll do the same in return. Just what are your experiences? What frustrates you? I would love to hear what you guys have to say because I'm pretty sure that I could research this, but there's only so much that articles are going to offer. And at some point, they get repetitive. So, yeah, let's get this conversation going. All right, you guys. I will see you probably in a few minutes because I'm feeling very creative and chatty right now. See you soon.